Hello, fire signs. Welcome to your weekly oracle messages. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. And as well, my Facebook and Instagram page. So for fire signs, I do think that during this uh, week, this period of time, you might feel a little bit overwhelmed by the amount of situations that you're kind of dealing uh, with. I think that some of you have a lot that depends on you and you might be feeling uh, burdened by that, by that sense of responsibility, by that sense of needing to command situations that maybe are um, heavy. I think that some of you might feel this heaviness as well as a part of your energies might feel like that fire that um, usually represents your your energy quite strongly that that fire is somehow imprisoned right or held back like you can't express your uh, potential you can't express your, your your yourself truthfully or authentically as you would like I, th I think that some of you are being called to express yourselves in more truthful uh, ways I think that some of you may be uh, a little bit you might be during this period of time tested in integrity testing tested in re remaining right authentic to your own self i feel like some of you might be involved in situations where you are being tempted or challenged right in freely giving of your heart of your mind of your ideas some of you may be wearing masks some of you may be pretending too much uh, that either you are liking or not liking something that actually goes against your truth, your your truth, that goes against your true desires. I think that some of you have intense desires like, um, you know, that are like restless inside of you and they are, they are in a, in a way consuming you. I think that some of you are uh, consumed by... Uh, uh, the lack of freedom of some sorts because I think that some of you are in pursuit of freedom right where again you could be either feeling much more like yourself or feeling like you can do and say whatever you want that you can go whatever you want it's like feeling like independent and strong in that sense of independence and 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 as well finding this energy of willpower of confidence to uh, open ways in life, right, in accordance to your vision. I think that some of you, again, you have a vision of something, right? You have the vision of something that corresponds to the truth of your being. Uh, but then you have the other, other situation in your life that you are involved with. And I think that you are split in two. It's like you have that uh, desire on the back, right? But the way you are putting it out, it's completely different from how you truly uh, kind of wanting something to be. I think that some of you don't want to, you know, shake the waters of harmony, of peace. You don't want to uh, disappoint others. You don't want to feel like you are the one that is causing somehow conflict or discord. But I think that this is coming to you uh, with a heavy cost. It's like a sense of... Uh, it's like so I feel like some of you feel like you're shrinking on on the inside, right? You might be you might have great things actually happening for some of you on the outside, but inside you feel less and less and less like your own self. And of course that this might not be an energy that, um, is with you just for this week. Usually those are threads, right? Of a much more, um, of situations that are with us for a great period of time. Condition, the conditionings we receive from an early, early age or that are caused by the impact of some, of some traumatic experience, whatever it is. I just feel like this week this, there's this trigger of some of you feeling really fed up 
of um, how your life kind of is or uh, I think that some of you feel like um, how you call it like you don't really I feel like some of you really don't like where you are or you don't like what you are doing or you don't like uh, with whom you are or who's by your side but again you're hiding it you're pretending everything is fine or you're pretending that it's all okay I feel like some of you need to recover trust and to call into the energy of willpower to create your life uh, in new ways, in new directions, in 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 in, in ways where it, what's manifested on the outside is a reflection of uh, right what you have been cultivating in the inside. So you need to work on uh, like uh, things matching. It's like uh, how you feel. Project and manifest from there. You know, don't suppress things that you know are going to kind of push you further away from your sense of happiness. I think that some of you are not happy, but still kind of settling with how things are, either because you feel obligated to or because uh, you just don't know how to break free from some of your pretense. I think that some of you are leaving lives... This is, of course, a general reading. It's only for some of you. Uh, but some of you are leaving lives that are that are fake. There's something fake about the energy of your week. So it could also be that you are dealing with fake people. Um, be very careful during this period of time as well in what you trust, in the promises that you are being made, or in what you're being told, in you know, making sure you're always uh, calling to your sense of judgment right to see what's truthfully in front of you and not right the expectation uh that you're kind of creating because i think that there might be some deception kind of a, de a deceiving energy as well circling around some of you that can come from you or can come from uh people you're dealing with or something that might pop up to test your sense again of integrity or judgment some of you Though you know that there's something fake, but you're still giving it away. You're still um, going for it. I, I mean, you're still kind of uh, seeing how it goes, right? I do feel like uh, this is a period of time where your exhaustion as well, the sense of being exhausted by the demands and pressures of your life might... <sighs> might start to create some it's starting to, to to create exactly the opposite effect of what you some of you are trying to avoid which is for some of you fire signs it's starting to create cracks right in the picture of perfect lives that some of you are trying to either put out there or express which means that some of you have uh, let's say you have a facade where things are great where you're living the life right where you basically have everything to be grateful and happy uh for but on, on the inside some of you are not feeling this way and so for a while and so you have been holding this right this truth inside of you you have been controlling the truth you have been trying to shove it down and you know of course that the, the things that we don't own, the things that we don't take responsibility for, end up owning us. And what I think is that it's getting harder for some of you to uh, hide what's truthfully going on. And uh, this, this energy of hiding things, again, it's creating a sense of distrust, which means that there are parts of your perfect life that might start to get affected as of course an experience to step up to the plate of the situations and just say things as you mean Th say things as you see them because for fire energy when fire energy is not being uh look fire is about truth actually the fire elements it's about uh the spirit the command of spirit the command right of your uh vision and I think that when fire signs are involved in trickstery or things that are really not about 
who they are to the core. There's a lot of problems that might come from that because the fire energy is not really great at holding on to facades and the effects that that can cause on your sense of well-being could be as well quite damaging. For Aries energy, you have the condition condition, I'm sorry, condition card. I think that some of you are trying to be something you are not and during this week you might have uh, you know, a realization that you have been following, let, let's say, the herd, when in reality you don't really agree with uh, whatever it, it's, it's displayed there or whatever is happening there. Some of you are, uh, again, trying to be something you are not or you're trying to fit in in places that don't have anything to do with who you are. Some of you need to be careful. There might be people as well, right, that, that are trying to kind of woo you or uh, they, they, they might present themselves as being someone, right? There might be people presenting themselves as being people of peace or people without second intentions and hidden agendas. And in reality, it might not be that way. There's something underneath uh, this energy that you're not seeing. This is uh, something to be careful about when dealing when dealing with relationships, but also be careful to not fall into the temptation to do this to someone else. I think that some of you, other Aries, could also be trying to uh, kind of be undercover. I think there's an energy of undercover or trying to... I don't know, it's like trying to hide a part of yourselves or trying to hide something that you are doing that you shouldn't be doing. It could also be that. Either way, I think that for your energy, there's a lot of truth being uh, given. I feel like for the three signs, you are the one that uh, it's going to be harder to not see what's in front of you to, or to not acknowledge, right? your own, let's say, mistakes or faults in front of the mirror. I think that some of you as well are too attached to ego, which means that during this period of time, you know, you might have uh, circumstances that put that as well in display, your ego, right? Your wants, your desires, your, your sense of um, pride, your sense of, you know, being maybe... Uh, having an unhealthy relationship with um, the material world, which means that either either you're looking for meaning in meaningful places or you're looking for gratification, easy gratification or gratification of some sorts that is not going to most likely provide itself to be rewarding. Again, this is an energy that can always work uh, both ways. It could also be that, um, yeah, you're seeing this, you're seeing the, how you call it in English, it's like you're seeing, uh, you're seeing the rotten, there's something for some of, uh, some of you Aries where you're going to see the rotten side of something. It could be the rotten side of someone, it could be the rotten side of an experience in your life, right, or even of society and world. It's like, uh, understanding the underlying motivations that circle around you and maybe even kind of checking in with your own self and trying to understand if you yourself have been trying to get something right in your life that is not based on truth it's more based on, again on on that ego unhealthy relationship with your ego that demands uh, that you have something that might even be unhealthy to you. For uh, Leos, you do have experiencing, the card of experiencing. Leo energy needs to be out there in nature and it needs to break free from something, again, that is well has been holding back your full potential. I think that some of you are in great, great, great need of sharing as well your truth, your vision, your um, your voice in the world needs to be, it's kind of like a broadcast. It's like a, you need to say things and say things out loud, things that you're either tired of, things that you feel like 
a great in, right impel to to say or to express i think that some of you really need to just put things out i also feel like uh there are some of you that, that are, during this time are looking for advice are you look, looking for guidance that you can get by the presence of um, nature. I think that there's something about the wisdom of connecting right with energies that for you Leos are kind of sacred or holy. So for Leos that are not at all, you know, connected with nature, it could be anything else, places, people, uh, you know, activities that are sacred for you that I think that some of you there's something here about you having you know a ritual in your life that you need to feel better about yourself but also to uh, have some have some clarity right or have some uh, guidance coming through through your own sense of uh, judgment I think that you might want to share something that you are afraid to share. I feel like some of you Leos want to do something or, or say something that you really, 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 really can't hold in anymore. But I think that some of you are so afraid to do this. You're so afraid to uh, act upon those desires or on those wishes. You're afraid of uh, sharing a part of you that might be very passionate. I think that some of you are afraid to uh, as well damage the harmony of situations or damage your relationships with the truth that is kind of wanting to come out. Some of you are going to have though a breakthrough on understanding, right? <sighs> Something that you have been battling with in terms of uh, potential ahead it's like uh, I feel like some of you don't really you have been a little bit confused about the future direction of something and I think that there's this great uh, it's this great sense of um, revelation for some of you revelations coming to Leo's in unexpected ways and places that you know might uplift your energy and really help you decompress because I think that some of you are also you need to decompress or do things where you are actively burning out the excessive energy that you're holding um, so that you don't have like uh, some type of, you know, explosions or uh, conflicts in your life due to that. Maybe uh, some of, some of you have some type of uh, irascible behavior or fiery reactions that might sometimes be a little bit aggressive. And I think that part of it may come from the fact that you're not burning out that energy yourself. I think that some of you are being called as well during this week to be more active physically in order to have uh, better results, but to not forget the importance to connect with the things that inspire you and that are creatively, you know, a sense of where you get like a creative fuel, right? Uh, again, to keep doing things in life or to keep pursuing options in life that feel much more satisfying um, than, the, than the ones you currently have. For Sagittarius energy, you have this great card, which is the creator. This is an energy that talks about you creating right in your life. Um, you manifesting from your wishes, your, de your desires, and from your willpower as well. So some of you might be especially, um, particularly creatively inspired during this time. Some of you might have something um, happening that really provides joy and a sense of pride of your achievement, something that you know, really personally touches you, something you have been working on or desiring to to do in the world. I think that some of you are going to take initiative to create uh, from that place of truth or from that place of um, need to see. I think that some of you are really interested in, in, in kind of uh, like manifest 
something that's going to kind of resemble you. So some of you are really self-absorbed as well during this period of time. It's like a very um, inspired and motivated by your own self. Some of you that have been dealing with issues of not feeling like free or independent or autonomous, I think that you are recovering your sense of power. You're recovering your sense of assertiveness, being able to assert yourself in the world in a way that makes you feel happy. Some of you, you know, as long as your creations, again, are coming from the truth uh, that lies there in the core of your being, I think that success is definitely at the reach of some of you. Some of you are also called to do more creative things in your life, to be um, more involved in the creative process of something you are working on, especially if you are working with others as well. I think that on something you're being called to be a little bit here, the leader of the situation or to take charge of, of a situation that might involve you and someone else or you and groups of people. But I also think that some of you need to be careful uh, to not compromise more than... Um, I think that some of you are, the conflict during this period of time might be about you, right? What you want um, and what others may be wanting. And there might be some, you know, d creative disagreements or just disagreements in general of ways to go about uh, common projects or ideas or situations it's like, or even relationships, it's like you wanting to uh, stay working right um at home maybe and your partner maybe wants to go to the movies and things like that it's like a, a disharmony in terms of interests i think that some of you might be either being too complacent so pretending you like the same things others around you like or you're not right um in a place where you want it all to compromise it's like trying to find the middle ground as well here between you and others might be something to a uh, possibility of what might be in focus during this period of time i feel like uh as well you need to be very careful with people you are making you know comp commitments to or uh that you are it could even be contracts as well it's like uh things that, that you are um, people you are trusting or confiding with your creative ideas or projects or just people that you are sharing, right, parts of you that are very, very, very unique and different, your visions, your ideas. Uh, trust with care, especially if, though, if, if, if um, those are people that you really don't know, if this is uh, a new situation, right? I think that uh, you might have, you know, some sense of deception. Um, people wanting to be like you, things like that, or people wanting your ideas or wanting to steal your ideas or something on those lines. But it could also be that make sure you, because this energy is always both ways. So make sure as well that you are um, truthful and transparent in your dealings. This could also be about dealings, things you are really um kind of doing business with make sure you are being transparent in your motivation so you, this doesn't backfire but also make a, a background check on people you're dealing with companies and things like that uh and i also think that some of you are attracting a little bit of jealousy especially for sagittarius that again are recovering this beautiful side of themselves which is the part of them that is confident in who they are, in, in their talent, in their potential in life, what they are here to do, you might be attracting some jealousy or some unwanted energy. So keep your eyes open as well to what's kind of circling around you. So I hope you fire signs have a great, great week. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see each other soon.